Hello, welcome to another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, it's midnight now, which means that Tuesday's puzzle should be up on the site, and I'm going to try and solve it. Um, so I'll try and give some commentary as we go. Um, let's see how we do. Okay, fad passing across British province. Okay, well, I'm lucky enough to have got that. Uh, the answer to the cursor going in the right direction. That is Manitoba. I don't know how I got that quickly, but I, I was putting a B for British uh, into a word that, and coming up with the names of provinces I could think of. Um, and then I spotted that mania could be a fad. And so you see mania there is passing across and it's going around the outside of two, two in the clue, and B for British, Manitoba. Good answer. Uh, exploit inspiring individual saving lives, saving lives. Who knows? Exploit inspiring individual. Exploit. Hmm, I'm not sure. Should be able to get that, but can't. Girl raised grouse on island. Well, there are lots of variations of this clue I've seen over the years. It's Naomi. Um, so it's moan reversed for grouse in this case, and then an I for island. Um, fantastic Queen, so I'm already thinking Titania here. Reduced massive area. Well, yes, okay. So fantastic as in um, fictitious. Um, so beams as Cook's mixture gets measured metrically. Beams as Cook's mixture. Um, is that an anagram? 13? No. Uh, beans. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, fielders items of clothing. Okay, well that must be short stop, I think. As in a baseball fielder has a short stop and it, two items of clothing are shorts and a top. Let's go back here. Exploit inspiring individual saving lives. Exploit could be misused, couldn't it? So inspiring individual is a muse saving and it was lives. If you lives you know, he lives, you could say he is. Um, so very cleverly worded clue. Um, no, I was lucky to solve that. Um, criminals abandoned scruples and discipline. Criminals abandoned scruples. Hmm. Criminals abandoned. I'm not sure. I can't think what that is. Okay. Stylish Henry with a pipe. Uh, no, I don't know what that is. I suppose I'm wondering whether Henry with A could be H A at the end. So can I think of the name of a pipe that goes in here? I wonder if that is a spelling of a pipe. A shish. Shish. I'm going to just posit that cheek for stylish, obviously H for Henry. Um, all right, bit of body odor. Bit of body odor, of course, repelled. Um, wow, I don't know. Um, of course, repelled, I'm thinking, is like, yeah. So I was trying to put hey at the top of the answer here. Or maybe even H-E-A or H-A-E. Uh, something like that. But obviously there's not many words that are going to fit there. So let's go on. Catty remark, object returning, it's painful. Well, again, I feel I've seen variations of that clue before, if I spelled it correctly. Um, so, oh, good Lord, this cursor goes very slowly. But meow, catty remark. Let's go back here. A bit of body odour, of course, repelled. Bit, okay, so a bit of body could be a ham. Not sure, still not sure. Approve of XX presenting a facade. Approve of XX. I want that to be something bored, clapboard. Yeah, that would work. 
you approve of the XX, you would clap the board. Uh, nervously excited, cheers about rabbit. Hmm. Nervously excited. I should be able to get that too and being silly tonight. A uh, pioneering art nouveau showing travel. That looks like an anagram of pioneering art. Showing travel. Um, I can see I can get an ing out of this anagram as well. So I'm wondering whether this would end in G here. Uh, the good and kind could perhaps be honoured. Um, I wonder if that's is that knighted? N I G. Yes, it's an anagram that of the and the letter G for good, um, and then kind, all being anagrammed, and you get honoured there for knighted. Let's try this one. Dish lightly cooked portion. Again, rare bit just like leaps out at me there. Lightly cooked is rare, a portion is a bit. Um, so what's this one then? Nervously excited. A Twitter perhaps, or something like that. A Twitter that would work, wouldn't it? Excite. Cheers. About. Okay, so that's tar reverse. Thank you. Reverse T A. Um, and then rabbit is witter. A nice clue. What's this one then? Held. Humorous, maybe. Ah, uh, humorous, sorry. So that would be body, a bit of body, and then we've got odour for hum. Of course, is sure reversed, and then humorous is the answer. So it's chishka, if that's how you say it, still looks like it's a good one here. And this looks like it's something escape or estate. So let's have a look. Um, okay, days in school to develop commercial area. Oops. Days in school to develop. Um, I want it to be a commercial area, but I'm not quite seeing what the answer is. Let's try and get 15 down. Gives instruction to put old coin in northward spot. Well, I th the way I read the clue here, gives instruction is going to be something like teaches, uh, and then put old coin in. So maybe put a D in the middle of that for an old coin, or what is in one D, an old penny, in northward spot. And the whole thing would be a northward a place in the north. But, no, I'm not sure. Laid out one wearing suit, shedding pants. Lord, made out one wearing suit. Shame out. No, don't know what that is. Monster, that man put in care reform. Well, that's come nearer. That's him for that man. And put in an anagram of care. Uh, commonly isn't. Starter excluded from complementary course. Well, commonly isn't is making me think of ain't. As in, if you were to say isn't commonly, you would say ain't. Starter excluded. Maybe int from. Oh no, starter excluded from complementary. Ah, is is free without its starter. And if we put those together, we get aintree, which is a race course. Very clever clue. Lovely. Okay, sheepish face of goalie intercepting pass with defensive blunder. Well, as a Liverpool fan, I don't want to think about football this evening. Um, hmm. Face of sheepish face of goalie intercepting pass with defensive blunder. Well, a defensive blunder is an own goal, so that's OG. Sheepish. Uh, not sure. Entrance has pollarded hedge. Well. If you entrance is not so entrance, we read that as entrance instead, and then we take the top off privet, we get rivet. And if you rivet, if you are riveted in your seat, you are entranced. 
visionary leader on paper to become mad? Well, a C red must be the answer. Now we've got a visionary, which is a seer, and then the leader on the paper would be the ed, as in the editor. Idler's muffled din, working plunger. Idler's muffled din, working. That looks like an anagram of din in the middle of a word for an idler, which is probably a skyver. That would give a skin diver, which would certainly be uh, a plunger in the sense of somebody who dives. So sheepish hangdog is now looking good here, isn't it? So let's put that in and work out why it's the answer. You can see own goal in there. Uh, face of goalie, that's going to be a G, I think. Intercepting pass with defensive if you pass somebody something, you hand it to them. So hand dog is the answer there. Uh, what's this one? And this is the cook's mix cook's mixture. Butter met measured metrically. Um, beans could be beta rays, I guess. <laughs> As Cook's mis mixture gets measured metrically. I don't know. Uh, reluctance to move home, note, during extended period. Well, well all I'm, the only thing I'm thinking here is an extended period, again, could be some sort of overtime sporting reference. Reluctance to move home, note, during, maybe it's extra time. Inner, oh no, inertia. So that would be home is in. Um, note would be ti. That's one of the musical notes. Do re mi fa so la t do. And then an extended period here is not overtime or extra time. It's just era. So it's just referring to it being a long time. Swimmer for all to see clad in red. Well, okay. Uh, here, the trick to solving this clue is the, are the words for all to see. And this is a sort of, this is relatively common usage that you see, and it's referring to the cinema. If you get a U certificate in the cinema, it is universal, i.e. it's for everybody to see. So now, I, when I looked at this clue, I was looking for a five-letter fish that had a U in it and ended in T, and that now is easy trout and then you can just fill in you know you just work out okay a red is a trot as in somebody who sported trotsky um, right broadcaster cautious wanting right path for pilot well I want this to be runway okay wary wanting right would be the way as in let's remove the right and a broadcaster why is that a run? It's, it's clearly not, is it? Skyway, maybe. A skyway, is that somewhere? I suppose that's a path for a pilot. Okay. So, I've just got these long answers, really. That would really help. One day covered by short account of events. Um, testimony. Why? One day would be one Monday. One M O N. You can see that in the middle, in the middle of testy, covered by short. If you're short with somebody, you are tested with them. So that is how that's working. Okay. So this is a trading state now. So days in school. Oh, what's this getting at then? Days in school to develop. Gestate is to develop. <laughs> Very clever. Uh, and days in school is D for days in train for school. So that's a lovely clue. Days in school to develop commercial area. Yeah, very clever indeed. Um, oh, is this going to be peregrination now? Yeah. That's a funny old word that I don't see terribly often, but I think that's going to be the answer. Um, I'm pretty sure that means travel. Um, okay, so let's have a look at 15 down gives instruction to put old coin, well, in northward spot. 
Well, I'm wondering if Northwood Spot could be a reference to a, a reversal. If you turn something northward in a down clue, it would be, be to reverse it. And I could imagine sight would mean a spot, wouldn't it? So how could this work then? Gives instruction to educate. No, that's not right. And it's nearly right, though. It's something like that. It, a ducat is an old uh, is an old coin, and C is being reversed. So I was on the right lines, but spot was C rather than sight. And educates obviously is to give instruction to. And I think at the when I originally looked at this clue, I explained how I thought it worked, and you will now see that I got it completely wrong. That's just one of the things that uh, we get used to when solving times crosswords. The setter is often cleverer than we are until we give it sufficient thought. So, what's this? Um, made out distinguished? Yeah, that could be right, couldn't it? One wearing suit. I distinguish something. Shedding pants. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, one wearing, uh, so it's an anagram of suit shedding, with pants being the anagram indicator there. As in, if something's pants, it's awful. Um, around a, a one, uh, and made out is distinguished, so very clever. Now, battering rams, up, I can see that fits. Does that work? Beams as cook's mixture gets measured beams, battering rams. Cook's mixture is certainly batter, isn't it? So let's put that in. Mixture gets measured me <laughs> mixture gets me measured in grams, I suppose, if it's measured metrically. <laughs> measured metrically in grams. Brilliant. Another brilliant clue. This means full of wit, this, this crossword. And finally, Criminals. Discipline is science, isn't it? That must be right. Criminals abandon scruples. Um, oh, why is this right then? Criminal discipline. It just must be science. I'm not quite seeing why. Criminal conscience. Okay, conscience. If you have the word conscience, obviously that's your scruples. Your, and then if we take um, con for a criminal, as in a convict, out of that, we get kind of science, which is a discipline. So I think let's go with this. The pregnant pause. Hey, there we go. Okay, so there we are. I hope that was a useful run through. Quite a few. Um, so a mixture today, there were some old chestnuts that I was able to fill in very quickly and then interspersed with some really lovely uh, wordplay. Um, so anyway, as I say, hope useful and see you again tomorrow on Cracking the Cryptic.